Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Uh, today I'm going to do my yarn clue video. So if you're interested in learning what your uh, yarn clue is, head over to Llama Unraveled's channel. It'll be linked in the description box below. And also the direct links to the rules for the game will also be linked below. And all the other participants will be also linked below <laughs> in the description box. But, so for my pattern, it's actually one that I wrote myself and it's going to be available for free on my Facebook group as a PDF download. And it'll be on there today. But um, when she when she mentioned us to do this uh, yarn clue, she asked for it to be patterns. Either we write them or already existing patterns that would be good for um, the holidays, like for gifts and such. So I thought, uh, I have a lot of people in my family that I just buy gift cards for or um, just give them cash. So I wanted to make a little container <laughs> to gift gift cards or cash in. So I made this pattern. <laughs> It's a little wonky looking because this is the first one I made. <laughs> but yeah, so it's basically a gift card holder and it's shut with a button. So you just open the button and there's a pocket in there for you to slip a gift card down in or cash, whichever. And then I did go ahead and sew on some buttons as decorations. You could also use little appliques and stuff. But I did write this pattern myself and when I, I, when I first made it, uh, Rule number one of writing patterns, make sure you measure things because I first made the whole entire thing before sewing up the sides, just the strip. And if you go do download the pattern, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like a long strip and then you fold it. But anyways, uh, I made it too small. <laughs> the first one was too small for a gift card to fit down into. So um, always make sure you measure stuff. So I did end up having to frog my first one <laughs> and then make it a little bit longer this way, wider. And then, um, basically though, this is a super simple pattern. I used worsted weight, red heart yarn, uh, cherry red, cause it's Christmassy. And, um, it comes out as a long strip, kind of like a little scarf or something. And all you need to know how to do is single crochets and decreases and uh, a slip stitch. So, um, I chained and go, went back and forth to make it long and I decreased a little bit at the end to make this point, like the envelope closure thingy. <laughs> and, um, then uh, the buttonhole is not even a buttonhole, it's just between two stitches. And you just uh, single crochet up the sides and you have a little pocket envelope. And then I just, I did sew these on with thread. You could probably use fabric glue also, or sew on little appliques, whichever, or nothing at all. You can use, you know, variegated yarns, whatever. It's just cute, I thought it'd be cute. I have a lot of teenagers and stuff that I just give them gift cards because it's easier. So I just gotta get a gift card. <laughs> Stick it down in there, close it up. Merry Christmas <laughs> or happy birthday, you know, whatever you can change the colors of it, but that's my pattern. <laughs> but like I said, it'll be available for free download on my Facebook group. I got a few free patterns over there. If you're interested to go check them out <laughs> and yeah, but definitely check out all the other people listed below for the yarn clue event. And let's see here. I'm going to try to see the last day is on September 21st of the people doing it. Then the 22nd is when, Llama Unraveled will do the giveaway video and then she's also I think she's doing another giveaway where people who if they make the patterns that we all talk about they get entered in another giveaway but that's going to be further down the road <laughs> but if you want to know all the rules and all that definitely check out her videos which will be the first ones it'll say like um, how to play yarn clue and then there's an updated one and then there's a Facebook group so definitely check out all the links in the description box and play along and try to figure out who frogged their project and um Try to win the prize. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.